Hey guys, welcome back. Chapter 10, Incident at the Tavern. Luffy's captured, Zoro's looking for him, and Buggy and Nami and just the entire crew are having a good old time. They're getting completely smashed drunk, but the thing is, is that Nami can drink anyone under the table at this point into the story. So her idea is like, yeah, uh-huh, just keep drinking. Then I'm gonna fucking steal all your treasure when you're black out drunk. But Buggy comes over to where Luffy is captured inside of the cage and he said, yeah, uh-huh, try and pilfer stuff off me, you little common dirty thief. I'll just show you what happens. He loads in a special buggy ball, which is just basically a cannonball with a lot of oomph in it, and just fires it, and it just looks like it destroys like half the town, and he's like, it would have completely destroyed it if it would have been a smaller village. Now, here's the kicker, because Buggy wants to see where Nami's allegiance lies. He said, go ahead. Fire it. He aims the cannon right at Luffy. The same cannon that just got through destroying half the town. He said, fire it. Kill him. Do it. Ami is shaken with fear. I mean, because even though she's she's a low-down, two-bit thief, she still doesn't want to kill anyone, and she doesn't want to lower herself to the pirates' levels of killing people. And then Luffy's just kind of sitting there, and he said, That's what happens when you take on pirates with half-ass resolve. Resolve? To do what? To kill someone like it's nothing? Is that a pirate's resolve? No. Fire! You've got to be willing to risk your own life. That's what you get for going up unprepared against pirates. And she's like, "What? Unprepared? Like?" And he said, "He said when you he said when you do this, you're prepared to risk your life." Finally, one of Buggy's crew members goes up and is like, "Fuck it, I'll light it." And then Nami ends up taking out this baton and smashing him. And Buggy's like, "Traitor! Right after I let you inside my crew too." Nami grabs the wick with her hand and sizzles it and just puts it out. So. Perhaps Nami's not really as bad as we thought she was. Bitch is just pretty focused on money, though. Now, around this time, Zoro shows up and he decides it's time to hand some asses to people. So after he gets through beating the down a lot of people, Buggy's like, Rowan no to Zoro, huh? Well, uh, you've come for me. And Zoro's like, I'm not really a pirate hunter anymore. Um, I'm not interested in you at all. And Buggy's like, yeah, well, I'm interested in killing you because it'll be a nice feather to put into my cap. So Buggy comes after Zoro, and Zoro just takes his three swords, whoosh, slices him into like tons of different pieces, and Buggy's down. But the thing is, is the chapter ends with Buggy's crew members just going, heh. <laughs> so we, we don't really know what's up at this point then. We get a nice little inspirational speech from Luffy in this chapter, and uh, we find out that even though money might be your main objective, you can still have a heart. 